Hello everyone, I'm Santiago Santiago and today I'm gonna be testing Metro Exodus on the GTX 1050 Ti. To skip to any of the resolutions tested, check the timestamps down in the description. And if you want to support the channel by buying games for yourself, check the Chrono GG and Humble affiliate links down in the description as well. I'll first talk about the graphics options menu. Unfortunately, like the previous games in the series, you'll be mainly tweaking presets. There is no separate shadow or texture option, which is really disappointing since sometimes there's no perfect preset to choose from to get that balance of quality and performance. Outside of the presets, tessellation can be a major performance impact, so I recommend disabling that first if you don't want to lower the quality preset option. So lower that along with the hairworks option, which affects some of the monster's look. Then on the motion blur option, I selected low since I don't like this effect. Unfortunately, it cannot be disabled completely, but I'm happy to say that it's not as annoying as on other games when I set it to the lowest. Going to high will make it way more noticeable, so be aware of that. The physics option is just a usual. Personally, I recommend to disable it considering the performance hit. On the quality presets, there is a massive performance difference between them. You have low, medium, high, ultra and extreme. From extreme to ultra, there is a big performance and VRAM usage difference. Do not use extreme unless your card has 4GB of memory or more and enough horsepower to handle it. You'll see this on the GTX 1060 3GB test, is very clear. Then from ultra to high there is an improvement in performance as well, but not as big as from extreme to ultra. And finally on medium and low we get no screen space reflections and the game generally looks worse, still better looking than many other games. I was surprised how good the low preset can look, but it tends to be blurrier for what I've seen. Between DirtX 12 and DirtX 11. I saw a few extra FPS on DirtX 11, that's why I chose that on many of my videos. Just test both and see what you prefer. For DLSS and RTX, you'll need DirtX 12 anyways if your card supports those features. The new thing about this game are the open environments. You go through different seasons and open maps, so I decided to test an open area to stress the hardware as much as possible. In the first open world area, which is in winter, I will move around to the train fighting some monsters. Then in front of the train, you'll see the biggest stress point I ran into, a good amount of NPCs are present there, so consider that the worst case scenario of the benchmark, and then after that I'll keep fighting some monsters. If I get to a more demanding area, I'll update the description to let you know. If you have a quad-core CPU, expect to be able to maintain 60 frames per second pretty consistently, with some drops in the GPU usage in some stress points. With a 2-core 4-thread CPU though, expect some drops into the 40s and more unstable frame times. A frame rate cap in those cases with RTSS or Riva Turner Statistics Server is highly recommended, and if you are going to run the benchmark tool, be aware that it runs significantly worse than the actual game. Once I get to the area that the benchmark takes place, I will know for sure, but I got much lower FPS on that than playing the actual game. Anyway guys, that's about it, I hope you keep enjoying the video, thanks for watching, and see you next time! Artyom, back from the abyss of NATO <laughs> <You're> occupation. <alive. laughs> Impressive after the horrors Duke told us about. Let's go. Dad's talking to Katya. Dad knows. They are so nice. Both Katya <laughs> and her daughter. And Katya's medical training will come in handy.
using his binoculars on us to turn us into pillars of salt. <laughs> Artyom, back from the abyss of NATO <gasps> occupation. You're alive! <laughs> Impressive, after the horrors Duke told us about. Let's go. Dad's talking to Katya right now. They are so <laughs> nice. Both Katya and her daughter. And Katya's medical care is coming handy. Speaking of Mowgli, we have the same blood type, you and I. Haven't you noticed? <laughs> Here's Artyom, back from the abyss of NATO You're occupation. Alive. <laughs> Impressive, after the horrors Duke told us about. Let's go. Dad's talking to Katya right now. They are so nice. Both Katya and her. <laughs> and Katya's medical journey will come in handy. <laughs>
Speaking of Mowgli, we have the same blood type, you and I. Haven't you noticed? <laughs> From the abyss You're of alive. Occupation. <laughs> Impressive after the horrors Duke told us about. Let's go. Dad's talking to Katya right now. Same blood type, you and I. Haven't you noticed? <laughs> well, I guess you have to go now, Artyom. I feel your father-in-law training his binoculars on us. Artyom back from the abyss of NATO You're alive. occupation. <laughs> Impressive after the horrors Duke told us about. Let's go. Dad's talking to Katya right now. They are so nice. Both Katya and her daughter. And Katya's medical training will come in handy.
and I, haven't you noticed? <laughs> well, I guess you have to go now, Artem. I feel your father-in-law training his binoculars on us to turn us into killers of course. Artyom, back from the abyss of NATO You're occupation. <laughs> Impressive after the horrors Duke Thank told us about. But there is one more question I need to ask. But of course. Talk to the animals, I wonder. Speaking of Mowgli, we have the same blood type, you and I. Haven't you noticed? <laughs> Artyom, back from the abyss of NATO You're occupation. <laughs> Thank you for the information, Katya. But there is one more question I need to ask.
Mowgli talk to the animals, I wonder? Speaking of Mowgli, we have the same blood type, you and I. Haven't you noticed? <laughs> Back from the abyss of NATO You're occupation. alive! <laughs> Impressive after the horrors Duke told us about. Let's go. Dad's talking to Katya right now. <laughs> 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 